Hi there. Today we shall learn how to construct a triangle when the base, one base angle and the difference of two sides are given. Let's take an example. We need to construct a triangle ABC where BC is 8 cm, angle B is 45 degrees and AB minus AC is 3.5 cm. How do we go about it? We start with constructing the base BC. For this, we will draw a ray BY and from the same ray, we cut off BC is equal to 8 cm. Next, we construct the base angle which is 45 degrees. We can construct this by bisecting a 90 degree angle. Let's call the angle as XBY. Now, the only missing element is A. Let's take a closer look at the given information. We know that AB minus AC is 3.5 cm. That means that AB is greater than AC. Now AB is the side of the triangle that contains the angle B which is one of the base angles given. AC is the side that is opposite to angle B. Here the adjacent side is greater than the opposite side. So we construct line segment BD equal to 3.5 cm in the direction of ray BX. Next, we join CD. Joining C and D gives us another triangle BDC, but we have to construct triangle ABC. Notice that to construct triangle ABC, all we need is the location of vertex A. We know that the vertex A should lie somewhere on the ray BX. But where exactly? Let's think about it. We have already marked the difference between the sides AB and AC on the ray BX which is 3.5 cm. So now, as excess length of AB is out of the picture, the remaining length between AB and AC should be the same. That is, vertex A should be equidistant from point C and D. So how do we locate the vertex A if it is equidistant from point C and D? Yes, we must construct a perpendicular bisector on CD and the point at which this perpendicular bisector intersects ray BX will be the vertex A. So let's construct the perpendicular bisector of CD and name the point at which the perpendicular bisector intersects BX as vertex A. Then, joining A and C, we get the required triangle ABC. And that's how we construct a triangle when the base, the base angle and the difference between the adjacent and the opposite sides are given. The only thing to remember is that this method is followed when the unknown side adjacent to the given angle is greater than the side opposite to the given angle. That's all for now. See you next time.